Welcome to our third Learning with Leaders. Learning with Leaders was um, an event that we put together to allow people to get an introduction to some of our programs and some of the good work that we do within the agency. And hopefully you will enjoy the presentation that we have today um, that Joanne is going to lead. Thank you for coming out because I know it's the evening and I know that this is out of the way and I appreciate you coming to to explore our program. So thank you everyone for being here today. Um, it's a pleasure to have all of you board members and guests. Um, I wanted to share a little bit more about my own story and I wanted you to take yourself back to your young life. All right, so think back. As a young parent or actually as a young person, I oftentimes felt an emptiness inside me. My parents were divorced. My mom remarried, and while my stepdad was great, I always felt that there was a sense of emptiness inside me, and I couldn't really name it at that point. And I felt like having a baby was the solution. Like, hey, like this is something that's a part of me that's gonna fulfill that emptiness that I had inside me. And so I got pregnant at the age of 16. And so our primary goal is to serve families that are low income, that have, you know, don't have a lot of resources, and I was that in 1996. And so because of Family Developmental Center, I was able to pursue higher education, get a job, so I was able to be independent, um, and it was really, really amazing. It was life-changing for me. Because I've lived the mission of this agency, I'm a success story. Our mission statement is that we provide a responsive developmental early care and education program and family support in an equitable, nurturing, challenging, and inclusive environment that addresses not only their medical, educational, but social needs. So two years ago, and now they've been in operation for two years, uh, we've had now, we doubled in size in less than a month. And so this um, site here, which is our largest, 10 classrooms, 178 children, come here every day. And we doubled in size in like a month where we went to 350 children. So how much does quality ECE cost? Well, let's look at that. So we did an analysis of like, what is the cost per child? And annually, just for this site, we get $5 million. We serve 180 children and our cost per child per year on average, because it costs more for infants and children with special needs. And so the average is about $29,000 a year or $2,400 a month. And when it comes to children with special needs, we're, as I mentioned earlier, we're very unique in, this, in the sense that we provide a space for children where children are integrated in our classrooms with typically developing peers. There's definitely a, a, a huge benefit to having children who are typically developing versus those who are, have identified special needs, right? A lot of these parents that have children with special needs feel disconnected, feel like that they, don't, they can't quite fit anywhere because they have that stigma, right, of like having a child with special needs. So a little bit about our workforce. Um, so the teams, most of the, most of the positions, there's about 134 positions. Most of them are teachers. Head teachers, teachers, TAs, um, about 55 of them are, are all of these positions. A lot of the, the staff that we um, have, because one of our goals is to always hire staff that reflect the populations that we serve. So 77 of our 100 and something staff are Latinos. Um, 22 are African American, 21 are Asian, and 11 are white. What's next? There's so much that's next. Um, but for the 18-19 school year, um, our goal is to replicate the inclusion model at, at Sojourner Truth Center. So that site has offers um, care for infants and toddlers. And so we've been in, in communication with the Golden Gate Regional Center to replicate the inclusion model at that site. It's a community that really needs it. Um, this model is very unique and we have the opportunity to do that. Well, and this is one of the reasons why I'm still at Felton is because I personally benefited from all of these services, right? And so it's 
just amazing to still be here and get to, get to right, right. Now, now I'm paying it forward, paying it back.